ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Modsville USA here, back with another video. And today we've got a 1.6 Xbox on the bench here. And if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I just gave the old new RAM upgrade a shot for the 1.6, where you stack the RAM chips on top of one another, wire up cable select, and it's so working. Uh, this was found out very recently by Prehistoric Man, and Macho Nacho did a video on it. Um, I will leave that link below if you want some more intel on this mod specifically. And um, I might do a video as well just going over the techniques that I've learned after doing a few more of these. I think I can get these pretty dialed in and maybe maybe share some of that knowledge with you. Um, here's some shots. Roll some of the pictures. I didn't film it, but here's some shots of the install. Got it working. It was a doozy, but... I think I could do it better next time and faster. Um, this really isn't about that. There's a reason I finally bit the bullet and gave this a go. And that is because I got invited to test out the new Serbios uh, unreleased build that is working on 1.6 and I've been testing quite a bit. And ladies and gentlemen, this is fucking awesome. Um, so this is not out yet. Um, still in beta testing if you want to know exactly when this comes out I'm going to leave a link to the discord down below this is the xbox scene discord and there is a serbios channel in that discord and um, all new updates there will likely be an announcement you'll get the ping when this is available for the public but already it's running amazing so I'm just going to go ahead Plug this in, boot this up for you, show you that this is indeed a 1.6 running 128 megabytes of RAM and we're going to boot right up into Serbios XBMC for gamers to show you what's up. Okay, so I've booted the console. Here we are in XBlast OS. Got the XBlast Aladdin installed as you can see at the top there. We are on a 1.6 with 128 megabytes of RAM. We go in here and we go to Tools 128 megabyte RAM test. You will see it is all working properly. And yes, this is a, a, a brutal mod to dial in. It's just it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I think I'm getting it though. Um, cool, so there's that. We're just going to boot up to Serbios here. Got the Serbios logo. Got a fraction of the boot animation. A couple resolution changes, so the Elgato it's tripping out a bit and here we are in XVMC for gamers now if you look at the top there we've got the debug mode enabled so you can see that we are running um, with 128 megabytes of RAM very nice CPU is capped out and we're going to come in here applications I want to boot up regular old XBMC. Now I'm just doing this so I can come in here to system show you system info so I'm not playing any tricks here. Okay system we'll go to we'll go to hardware here or video rocking the Excalibur chip hardware version 1.6 um, yeah, where's RAM? Yeah, free memory is above the stock. 64 megabytes of RAM. So, we're looking pretty good. Now, what's the point 
of the RAM mod, you might ask. Um, for the most part, you're just going to get a, a bit of a smoother experience. The CPU is obviously a bit of a bottleneck there as it's running max, but in something like XBMC for gamers, I do, I have noticed, and I might be crazy, but other people have said the same thing, that browsing around is just, just a bit smoother. Um, artwork loads in a bit faster. It's just a smoother experience overall when you've got a nice UI that's uh, pretty demanding like this or emulation station, uh, coin ops, stuff like that. Um, you're just going to have a, a better time browsing around. Now it gets really smooth when you do the CPU upgrade but that comes with its own downsides of CPU upgrade breaking a lot of games so that's quite unfortunate um, and one of the main reasons a lot of people like the uh, RAM mod is you can get some Sega Chiharo games working so I'm open it up go to my file manager here on F and I've got some Chaharo games these are the only ones that will work on Xbox I believe it's because they left the uh, dev mode in that it works with an Xbox uh, controller but we've got Outrun 2, Virtual Cop 3, and Ghost Squad so let's go ahead and load up Ghost Squad Okay, here we are. Suck it. the pilot. Reload. We're going to crash. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Um, join the Discord down below. The Xbox Scene Discord. Pay attention to the Serbios channels. Because this is coming out soon. I just wanted to sh give you guys a little sneak peek of Serbios working on a 1.6. 128 megabyte RAM support, uh, amazing BIOS, uh, best in the game at the moment. Couple bugs to work out, but uh, overall, very, very cool. Install your massive ass hard drive, custom boot animations, a lot of neat little features in this BIOS. I love it. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned in that Discord and uh, hop on in as soon as this gets released. All right, dudes. Modsville, USA. Sign it out.